morning darlings it is sunday and the weather is still all sorts of fucked up i mean at the moment blue skies pretty cloud warmish 34 seconds ago it was howling down with rain and i do mean howling down and before that it was just kind of in the middle look how quick those clouds are moving no wonder the weather's coming in and out so quickly god August, eh? Lovely. Anyway, uh, had a bit of a disaster this morning. Uh, got up planning to crack on with some editing and um, unfortunately the super long uh, power lead that I use for super long powering my iPad, unbeknownst to me, wasn't actually working. It decided to stop working. So I'm sitting there thinking I'm charging my iPad and I'm not at all. So I've wasted an hour and a half, basically, which puts me all behind like a cow's tail. So that's annoying, but hey ho, I think it will just mean that the video I was planning to get out tonight in the 1919 slot isn't going to come out tonight in the 1919 slot. Which means that if I can't get it done, it's not actually going to come out until Wednesday. And that's a shame I was looking forward to. It. What I should really do is stop bloody talking to you and crack on and try and do it all there. So that's what I'll do. And I'll multitask and get some lunch on at the same time. Oh, a leaf. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, and let's have a close up of the flowers I showed you yesterday. That's some kind of bush. And um, not a clue what they are. Some form of triffid. Oh look, spring onions. Oh yeah, and something I forgot to report. A uh, bit of a cock up on the MOT front. I suddenly thought, oh God, wet leg must be coming up for MOT in a maybe in the next month or two months. I thought, I'll just check exactly when so I know where I'm batting from. And the MOT actually expired at the beginning of June. Whoops. These potatoes have a, it's very echoey in here, isn't it? These potatoes have a destiny. At the moment, they're potatoes. Soon, they will be boiled potatoes, or parboiled potatoes anyway. And eventually, they're gonna be roast potatoes. Oh yes. See, now this, is the naughty lead connected to that. This is the folder news. This is the lead that decided it couldn't be asked to do its job anymore. So this is what I've had to do. A little bit Heath Robinson, but thank goodness for the Top Don JS1200. Finally, lunchtime. God, I'm starving. Hello, darlings. I thought I'd better pop in and say something because gosh it's been a mad day and uh, haven't really got anything uh, done as they say just on the right there there's a very well-known brothel <laughs> no idea what I'm telling you that perhaps some of you already know yeah just around the corner from the restaurant I keep thinking I really should pop in and try and organize some sort of reciprocal deal now, many, many decades ago, when I was a young student, I delivered pizzas for Mario's Pizza Casa in Studley, Warwickshire. And we had a reciprocal, a reciprocal um, arrangement with the, uh, oh God, I can't remember what they were. Um, some flavor of Asian, I can't remember exactly which one. Um, they weren't Indians, I do remember that much. Uh, but we had an arrangement where every now and then <clears throat> we'd give them some of our food, some pizzas, and they'd give us some of their food, you know, for our staff meals. We'd like swap staff meals. And yeah, perhaps I could sort some sort of uh, arrangement not dissimilar to that out with the, uh, with the brothel. Um, I mean, it wouldn't involve food, at least on their side, but uh, you know, it could be mutually beneficial. Oh! 
if you watched it, I hope you enjoyed the, oh, hello, I'm being ping-ponged. Right, this is Denby Village, my loves. And uh, I'm wondering, do you guys and girls have little silly daydreams when you're driving about and your attention is, well, I was going to say your attention is wandering. I mean, obviously, your, your attention is on the road where it should be, but um, your mind is wandering rather than your attention. Your attention is where it should be. The rest of your mind is somewhere else. I do that a lot. And one of my recurring current daydreams is taking over the place that you're going to see before too long on your left hand side. So look out to your left. I'll give you a fair warning when it comes up. We're not there yet. Sit on my face and tell me that you love me. Pudge, 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 pudge your ability. That's the beauty of tarts. Ah, right, now then. Or left, rather, now then. Look, on your left, just here. That is the Bull's Head. It was a pub and restaurant and it's been closed for ages. Looks really nice. And it's got a mahoosive car park. And I'd love to take that over and create booties. And I'd run it as a, as a thing, as a bistro, something like that. Or a, a hangout center. And I'd do, um, I'd do morning coffee and I'd do lunches. And then in the evening, we'd have a sort of wine barley ambiance. There'd be, uh, there would be leather seats dotted around all over the place. A really good wine list. There'd be bookcases and books on the wall. And then the car park would be like a, a kind of display place for, I saw some sort of animal there. Uh, a display place for my cars and we'd have car meetups there. And then upstairs, I turn that into little Airbnb suites and <clears throat> it'd just be a really cool hangout place for all of us. I really fancy that. And genuinely, if I wasn't as poor as I am, I'd actually do something daft like that. If I had a million quid knocking about and I mean, I was in the situation that I am now. No family, nearly dead. I'd say, sod it, I'll do that for shits and giggles. Or shiggles, as I believe that's now known. Which, uh, which is a bit of modern speak that I approve of. And yeah, I'd do it. I'd throw the money at it and I'd say, sod it. When it fails, it fails. I don't care. I'll be dead soon and I can't take it with me. Heading home with Radio 4, naturally. I'm not an animal. So, are you agreed that the Home Office has seen? How do you think they have handled this? Was the whole stock of boats weak and misguided idea, do you think? I think this is. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Um, as you know, I'm picking Rob up from the station in the morning and. Uh, We'll be making the trip to the Yard of Dreams together and Rob will be joining Mustard and I for lunch and then he will be wending his way homeward in Fanny Freestyle, the absolutely fantabulous MGF which I'm sure he's going to 
love very much. But then after that, we've got an additional um, item on the agenda. We are, I think, heading down to the Black Country to have a look at um, to have a look at a potential car. Well, I mean, it's not a potential car; it's an actual car. Um, a potential buy, a potential car to buy. So that'll lengthen the day somewhat, but um, you know, it's a road trip in Mustard. That's always fun. And if it happens, then it's going to be a lot more promising than either of the last two, which obviously were not entirely fruitful. So that's all good. It's um, everything's quite exciting at the moment. Really, I'm excited about the the changes that are going to be taking place in the yard and the, the plans that we've got. I'm excited to be playing with cars. Um, even more than usual it's uh, it's all good and if all goes according to plan then I'm going to be changing things a little bit and I'm going to be spending more days at the yard but we'll see how all of that plays out oh and most exciting of all of course I've got Momo for supper Huzzah! Oh, sell your car to Bo T, he'll give you a terrible price, but he'll also give you some Momo, and Momo are terribly nice. Now, see here, I'm Slim Shady, the real Slim Shady, and quite frankly, all of you other Slim Shadies are damned imposters. Now, fuck off before I take the horse whip to you, bloody peasants. And would the real Slim Shady, um, uh, well, please stand up or bend over and take it like a man. Alright my darlings, my little loves, the time has come where I'm going to say good night and goodbye to you all. It's been a pleasure, of course it has, and I'm looking forward to the next time. So I am, to be sure. Ha! Oh, be Jesus Christ. I appear to be Irish. I didn't realise that at all. But the point is, I'm saying good night to you. But of course, I will see you tomorrow. <gasps> Excuse me. Wish me luck as you wave me goodbye. Here I go, old and slow, on my way. Wish me luck. As you wave me goodbye With a cheer, not a tear Make it gay, make it gay, you bastards! Good night.